let us try to understand the difference between the calculated columns and the measures first of all let us focus on the calculated columns on the screen you can see we have got a table which has got product quantity and price i am creating a new calculated columns total sales what is it that we are doing we are simply multiplying the quantity and the price it is doing the calculation based on the row context and then for every single row we have got a output so this is basically calculated columns so what do we understand from calculated columns the first thing that we understand is we are creating a new physical column which is getting added in this particular table that means we should use calculated columns when we want a fixed new column within the power bi table secondly it will consume the memory it will consume them because we are creating a new column which has got fixed values we are adding this new column to the table so it will definitely consume the power bi memory or uh, power bi vertipack engine memory thirdly you need to understand that this has got fixed values okay this based on these two columns we are getting these values so these are fixed values these will not change now let us compare this calculated column with the measures one by one first of all just like i have created this calculated column i'll be creating a measure how do i create that all i need to do is just click on this new measure and i have already created a new measure something like this this is the measure that i have created the first and the foremost thing that we see is this measure is not adding a new column to the table that means it will not consume the vertipack engine memory like in case of calculated columns so basically as compared to the calculated columns it it is a lightweight then how do we make use of measures so we have got this visual and within this particular visual as you can see i have selected city and i have selected this particular measure that i have created and this is a slicer that i have got now when it comes to measures as we can see depending upon the filter context so the moment i am changing my filters the values are also getting changed right so i have used just one formula price into quantity however i am getting different values depending upon my selection so this is also one of the important difference between these two that we have got fixed values when it comes to calculated columns when it comes to measure we have got different different values the calculations are happening on the fly based on the filter context or the filtering that i am doing the calculation is happening so what do we understand until now calculated columns creates a new column within the table measures do not create a new column measures will do calculations on the fly like this calculated columns consumes the memory of power bi vertipack engine measures do not consume memory it will consume memory only it is a bit lightweight and consume memory only when we are doing the calculations on the fly okay depending upon the filters that we are using so if you want to create a permanent field within your table then you make use of calculated columns and and if you want the metrics that will change with filters then you can make use of measures ideally it is suggested that within your reports you should avoid use of calculated columns and make use of measures as much as possible to make sure that your report does not face slowness issues in case of complex data models or if your data is huge it is always better or it is always recommended that you should try and use measures okay this is good for the performance of your reports i hope this will give you a clarity when it comes to calculated columns versus measures thank you so much for watching please do practice this